All right. We got a fight tonight. We got Tiafimo Lopez is going to be back in the ring tonight against a guy whose name I ain't really even taking the time to remember, Claggett. And he's out here doing what Tio does best, which is talking outside of out the outside of his neck. But this time, I think he might actually be telling the truth. And that is related to the lightweight kingpin, Gervonta Tank Davis. Let's talk about that in this video. All right, Tiafimo Lopez can, in my opinion, be a real buffoon sometimes. He talks a lot of craziness, says a lot of crazy things that I don't buy. But at the end of the day, Tiafimo Lopez can throw them hands for sure. Being a former undisputed champion at 135 pounds, in my opinion, he proved it. Now, I know some of y'all going to be all kind of upset that I called him an undisputed champion, but I have a definition. There is a definition from un for undisputed which is that you were named the champion by all four major championship bodies and you held them at the same time. And guess what? Tiafimo Lopez fits that bill. And do not tell me what media people say because I catch media people saying things that are inaccurate all the time. And so do you. So he also proved it when he moves up to 140 pounds and shocks everybody by dominating the former undisputed champion and still undefeated at the time, Josh Taylor, in what I thought was a one-sided whooping. Now, he had a rough outing in his last fight, did not look particularly good against Jermaine Ortiz, but neither did Vasily Lomachenko, and nor do I think will anybody else, because A, of the, a lot of, of all these guys that are at 135 and 140, Jermaine Ortiz may be one of the more underrated ones because he is a very, very solid fighter and is going to be difficult for anybody to beat if they can't sleep him. Smart fighter, big fighter. Now he's experienced having beat, having fought Lomachenko and fought Tiafimo. So, but he didn't, but Tiafimo didn't look that good. Heading into this fight, he is, uh, we don't, I don't know what to expect because Tiafimo Lopez often fights to the level of his competition, but I expect him to win the fight. They'll be fighting in Florida. In the midst of this, though, he starts talking about Gervonta Davis. And he says that, look, Gervonta Davis doesn't want nothing with me because they know that we've got the same things. We both got speed. We both got ring IQ. We both got power. And unlike him, though, I wasn't babied into this. <laughs> I wasn't babied into this. Man, let me tell you something. Of all the things that I see about uh, Gervonta Davis, a human being that has been babied is not what I see. In fact, it's almost the exact opposite. He does not look babied at all. He looks like, he looks like, in fact, that the easiest thing in his life is the ring. <laughs> it seems like the easiest thing in his life growing up was getting into fights in, in a boxing gym. And you see him literally see tapes coming out, more and more sparring tapes from the amateurs coming out. You see him giving the business to, as a young man and a very little dude, giving the, giving the business to Erickson Lubin? <laughs> giving the business to Erickson Lubin. And those guys are about the same age. So don't tell me there's something. Those guys are about the same age, but Erickson Lubin, even in that video, was a lot bigger than David, was a lot bigger than Gervonta. Not babied at all. Now, I can't see, say that Teofimo Lopez has been babied. I'm not saying that because I, I really don't know his background like that. However, I will tell you that all things ain't equal over there because Gervonta Davis is a lot more stable than Tiafimo Lopez is. The, it's the stability and the consistency of Devin Hay uh, of of Gervonta Davis that makes the big difference between the two of those guys. Without a doubt, 
is that is the big difference between the two. Now, as far as that, those uh, the, with the fight and how they I do think that Tiafimo Lopez, he may be the most difficult fight for Gervonta Davis at 140 pounds. He may be, especially if they're at 135. I don't know if Gervonta is going to go to 140, but let's just assume that he does go to 140 and that he can do this. And he's not the size advantage between that he would be given up is not, you know, as significant, but we're looking like a skill for skill type of thing. Um, Tiafimo Lopez may be the most difficult for him because Tiafimo Lopez can give you a bunch of different looks. The problem for Tiafimo Lopez is Tiafimo Lopez's dome piece and whether or not that dome piece is going to hold up, whether it's going to hold up in the press conference or whether it's going to hold up in the ring when he starts getting walked down, um, whether or not Tiafimo Lopez really does have power like he says he has power because, hey, man, Frank Martin had a lot of power, but that power didn't carry on past that fifth round when uh, when Gervonta Davis was pressing him. But I ain't going to lie, man. Tiafimo Lopez is a very, very good fighter, and I would love to see that fight. I would love to see that fight. But again, he's also he's kind of delusional. He's talking about the same thing, saying basically the same thing about what he would do and how people are hiding Terrence Crawford from him. Man, look. Terrence Crawford will absolutely mop the floor with Tiafimo Lopez, provided that... Terrence Crawford doesn't get old overnight, which is possible. Um, reminds me him talking reminds me of when I saw the what Devin Haney was talking to to, to uh, Devin Haney was talking to Terrence Crawford, talking about what you know smack talking back and forth and seemed real serious about what he would do to Terrence Crawford. And everybody in the room had to be like, "Man, young man, go ahead and sit down. Go ahead and sit down." So. Uh, Tiafimo, though, with Gervonta, I would love to see the fight. I honestly hope to see Tiafimo Lopez versus Devin. I want to see Tiafimo Lopez versus Ryan. I want to see, I would love to still see those four king, all that four king talk still pop off, even though we know that there ain't no more kings over there except for the one guy, and that's Gervonta. And Gervonta is going to be fighting uh, Lomachenko. I'm definitely looking forward to him fighting Lomachenko. That is not a guaranteed fight, uh, win uh, for, for Gervonta because uh, who knows, man? Lomachenko is somebody that may switch it up and may try to box for 12 rounds and stay away. <laughs> he may switch up his whole game plan and not try to engage. But if he's in that same mode of, of uh, starting slow, same just like Gervonta starts slow, if they're in that same mode and Gervonta Davis starts being able to touch that man's body and the speed difference is there for the Gervonta, which I think it is, and the power difference is significant and uh, – and, uh, Gervonta finds places to counterpunch him in the middle of the shots and the pivots that he does, that could be a real, real big problem. Uh, a real, real, real big problem uh, for uh, for Vasily Lomachenko. But at the end of the day, man, I'm just happy to see all these fights taking place. I'm happy to see Tio back in the ring tonight. Also, we got Bam Rodriguez fighting, uh, um, uh, fighting tonight. Can't wait to see it. Anyway, that's my take on the matter. Please let me know what you think in the comment section. And with that, I'm out. Deuces. Have an absolutely wonderful day.